Welcome to a day of planetary play with the laughs and mishaps brought to you by Jupiter. And then we're also going to experience the awesome world of lucid dreams and contact from beyond, sponsored by Neptune. How is everybody doing? This is Mandolin, and it just keeps getting better and better. There is a lot of anxiety in the air. There's a lot of fear. There's anger. There is disclosure happening in certain areas that people are in shock and scratching their head, not sure what to do next. Everything is pointing towards the advancement of the actual collective in frequency. If humanity is going to evolve, humanity is going to have to carry forward in the ascending frequencies. Let's just think about that for a minute. As more people have become higher vibration and higher frequency and they are still part of that collective, that raises the collective frequency ever so slightly. It's like tipping the scales. And what I find truly, truly heartwarming is that we're getting this play, if you will, from the planets. Jupiter is so responsible. Yesterday, look, windshield wipers went out. I had to go to town and meet my dad who there's not really much communication there. And so I says, well, I gotta go. It's, it's probably not going to rain. Well, as soon as I got in the truck to go, it started raining and my windshield wipers have quit. Haven't had time to figure out why. So I took some string so we could do it manually if necessary. On the way out, I passed uh, my neighbor, my good friend, and in the Mercedes Benz. And this, he said, follow me back to the house and you can drive the Benz. Well, okay, so that worked out, didn't it? Then when I had to go to the little small town grocery store later, uh, it was it was crazy. I had been in the gardening store, so I was very grounded. And this is a small town. And the lady in front of me dropped something. The the young man working the register, he, he dropped something. And she almost walked off and left her card and the, the little pay thing. And I was dropping things. My head of cabbage just decided that it was going to give everybody a run for their money. And we're all laughing and talking about what good company we're in. And the lady behind me, she just had this scowl on her face. And so we're still being friendly, hoping to rub off on her. My friend pointed out later on as I was talking to her that, and you guys were trying that much harder. So we were benefiting ourselves by still trying. She never did crack a smile or anything. And I'm reminded so much about how people treat me when I speak my complete honest truth. So how do I deal with the Armageddon options that are out there for us? You know, these, these things that no matter how you look at it, the earth is compromised. Are you serious? The whole thing, it's like we're watching a sitcom. Our higher self is literally sitting there watching a sitcom. That means that we are watching a sitcom. And if you're sitting there watching it, then that means you either already experienced it or you're just watching something that occurs. Now, they say I'm crazy when I talk about past lives and visits to and from the etheric realms or even being a hybrid. But with all this mounting pile of contradictions, manipulations, deceptions, and let's just call it outright lies, those are supposed to be believable. So, <laughs> I just have to laugh. You know, you're calling me crazy because you tell me that it's just unbelievable that, oh, yeah, sure, you're a hybrid. You're a hybrid alien. Well, yeah, I am. But you believe that crap over there that they're telling you when, look, this adds up, their schedule's released. I mean, 
<laughs> you all you can do is laugh at it because it's utterly ridiculous when you know what we know. So you see it for what it is, and you know what you know, and then you laugh at the vaudeville show that's unfolding in front of you. Today, there's going to be a lot of third eye and psychic activity. Can you say lucid dreaming? Neptune is bringing that right online for us. Why? Because today is, is a third eye chakra attunement day. Everything you experience everything today is not just straightforward everything has a message everything has a deeper hidden meaning and you need to approach it as such the reason that laughing is so important I have this young lady that tells me that she worries all the time she worries about me and what I tell her is no 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 please don't say that because when you say you're worried about me you tell me that when you look forward in my experience you see suffering and misery and and nothing good coming so please don't say that tell me yeah it's gonna get better you're gonna pull out of this this is gonna come your way please don't say you worried if anything say you're hopeful Say you're compassionate. Say you love me, but don't say you're worried. So again, I've already got one friend that's, that's had an encounter with Jesus today. <laughs> and, and she's got Archangel Michael and Einstein on each side of her as she walks into this um, high society type atmosphere. And as I'm saying this to you now, I'm getting the intense ear ringing and I'm getting the, the the buzzing and the vibration you know all the way around my forehead and that's because we are stepping in to our higher frequency arrangements once everything is synchronized and we're there and they're saying, okay, will you step through door number? And you apply the door number because that can create anxiety too. Know that it's already been done. If, if the door is there, it's because you did everything that you needed to to manifest it. And know that what is happening is you are literally becoming absorbed by your higher self. And then that higher self, guess what? There's a higher self to that. So as far as the earth changes, know that this has been always been part of the earth cycle, part of nature cycle, part of the cycle of creation. If you're going to pay attention to the madness that so many are stirring around you and trying to instill fear into you, at least have awareness of the other side of that coin. That way, you can live knowing that change, adaptability, that is the true natural state of all. But trying to keep winter from coming because you like fall the best, that's going to do nothing but create a lesson. Today's lesson generously provided by Jupiter. So you can manifest a new experience. Or you can manifest a lesson. And that's the true lesson here. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to get out of here and know that I'm going through this with you. And I am so excited of what is coming. I will have a new moon in Leo message and I look forward to seeing you there.